There's nothing new about homelessness in Los Angeles. There have been people living on the streets and in flop houses or shelters for as long as there's been a Los Angeles Times, and perhaps for as long as there's been a Los Angeles. But it has never been like it is today. There are currently 58,000 homeless people in Los Angeles County, a stunning, bewildering, and tragic number in a city that is home to some of the richest people in the world. Los Angeles County today has more chronically homeless people, more unaccompanied youth, more homeless veterans, more unsheltered homeless people than any other jurisdiction in the country. Once the homeless were only associated with particular neighborhoods, Venice, Hollywood, Santa Monica, and especially Skid Row. Today, almost every part of Los Angeles County has homeless people. Some live in their cars, some are beneath overpasses or near freeway off-ramps, or in parks, or on subway platforms. Tent encampments have spread through the city of Los Angeles and beyond. There are lots of misconceptions about LA's homeless. They're all mentally ill or drug addicted. They flock from elsewhere to enjoy this city's warm and sunny climate at the expense of local taxpayers. They're all able-bodied men who could hold jobs but choose not to. They refuse shelter and prefer life on the street. In fact, homelessness is much more complicated than that. The reality is that only a third of homeless people are mentally ill. The overwhelming majority have been living in the region for many years. They're not all adult men. They are women, children, teenagers, families. Some are drug addicts or career criminals. But increasingly, they are people driven out of their homes by the high cost of housing. When a person loses a job or gets evicted or becomes ill, that can be catastrophic enough to put them on the street. Now, Los Angeles has its best opportunity in decades to fight back. In recent years, city and county residents voted to tax themselves to raise billions of dollars to be spent on treatment and services, to build housing for the chronically homeless and for low-income people. But will it be spent effectively and efficiently? Will neighborhoods fight against housing for homeless people? Will politicians dare to take a clear stand on what needs to be done? When the money stops in 10 years, will homelessness be under control? Or will there still be tents in the shadows of high-rises? <laughs>